someone calls you Methuselah, it's probably not a compliment. Uh, he was 969 years old when he died. He's the oldest man in the Bible. Uh, if he was around today, Methuselah would no doubt be interviewed by all the glossy magazines. We'd ask him the secrets of his longevity. Uh, he could release a best-selling cookbook called The Methuselah Diet, uh, guaranteed to get you living well into your 800s. Uh, today, there is even a Methuselah Foundation. Uh, their wiki page says that the Methuselah Foundation is a non-profit organization dedicated to extending the healthy human lifespan by advancing tissue engineering and regenerative medicine therapies. Uh, they're actually offering cash prizes to researchers who can break records in mouse longevity. Uh, through various techniques, scientists have been able to extend a mouse's life expectancy in some circumstances to five times the average. That's pretty impressive. And then there is uh, cryonics. Uh, there are people, or sometimes just human heads, that are frozen after death and stored at 196 degrees below freezing. Um, we don't have the technology yet to thaw them and revive them and cure them of whatever killed them, but the hope is that in the future we will. And currently there are 250 people who are preserved like this, and a further thousand who have signed up and want to join them. So what do we think? Is there a way to cheat death? And does Methuselah show us the way? Uh, actually, Methuselah does not show us how to cheat death. Um, Methuselah is just an extension of this kind of old Adamic life. He's a very long extension, but just an extension of this kind of life. And as we saw with the cherubim a few videos ago, God is not, preser God is not committed to preserving this kind of life. But in Genesis chapter 5, we learn a genuine and lasting answer to death. You see, someone in Genesis 5, someone in this family tree does better than Methuselah. Methuselah's dad, in fact. When Methuselah was a sprightly 300 years old, uh, this is what happened. Enoch walked with God, then he was no more because God took him away. That's Genesis 5 verse 24. So Enoch avoids that terrible three-word condemnation that we thought about yesterday. Everybody before him in this genealogy uh, just lived their life and then they died. They lived their life and they died. They lived their life and they died. This three-word kind of drumbeat finishes off all human life, but not Enoch. Why? Well, Enoch walked with God and then God took him. Why? Well, this is the answer to death. The answer to death is walking with God. So then, here is this riddle, really. What's older than Methuselah? Well, in the Bible, there is something older than Methuselah. It's the answer to death, which his dad discovered. Walk with God. The same God who walked with Adam and Eve in the garden. The same God who walked with Noah in Genesis chapter 6. The same God who walked among us as man and defeated death on our behalf. Walk with Christ and he will walk you through death and out the other side. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die and whoever lives by believing in me will never die.